Hello viewers, we'll be going over gold miners, ticker symbol GDXJ. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and how I developed that idea. So let's start off with the technical analysis. We're currently down 7.3% on the one hour chart. We have reached oversold RSI and we're still in negative MACD. If we expand out to the four hour chart, what we are on is we're resting around the 150 moving average, this red line. And we are also oversold on the 4 RSI and approach to negative MACD. If we expand that further onto the daily chart, what we have here is we breached below the 18 moving average, this purple line. And after being at overbought RSI for several times last week and two weeks ago. And we start to see a divergence back in August 7th. So at the moment, for my trade idea of the week, I have... A position size, if I were to open one, will be less than 1% of my portfolio, and my entry will be around $56.35, which is currently at the price at the moment. And my sell target will be $62.85, and my stop loss for my long position will be $54.34. On the other hand, if I were to open a short position, my entry will be $65.01. That will be around the 18 day moving average, this purple line, that will be my short entry. As for my sell target, that will be $58.51. And my stop loss will be $67.33. So how did I develop these trade ideas? These ideas come from the day by day probability model right here. So as we progress to the fifth day or a week of trading to the upside, we have a 25% chance for GDXJ to climb higher between 0 to 7% and on the extreme case a 25% chance for it to climb higher between 7% to 14% and to the downside we have a 50% chance for it to fall between 0 to negative 7% so which one of these eight models we should use as a reference if we examine the line graph right here the blue lines are current trend and the line overlapping it happens to be the best match. So right here we have our current trend and the trend below is the one that we found on the line graph above. This trend dates back to December 9, 2015 to March 8, 2016. So let's begin comparing both of the trends. So we have one, two, three points on the current trend and we also have one, two, three points on the trend in question and one thing to note on the current trend we broke below the middle Bollinger Band on the current trend as opposed to the trend in question so do keep that in mind again we broke below the middle Bollinger Band so there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are somewhat the same the outcome and forecast should be fairly the same so the model again that we just examined was December 9 2015 to March 8th 2016 so we have one day out that would be a Wednesday and two days out will be a Thursday and so on so we have three days out four days out and five days out so back then gold miners continued to fall roughly around 2.3 percent back then and if we examine the day-by-day -day probability model that coincides with this standard deviation a 50 percent chance for it to fall between 0 to negative 7 percent but if we examine the technical performance and compare the trend in the past with the current trend. So back then it was 5% away from monthly high. Compare that to the current trend, away 5.6% away from monthly high. And compared with the monthly low, back then it was up 37%. And compare that to the current trend, up 29%. And for the 10 simple moving average, back then it was up 3%. Compare that to the current trend, which is now down negative 1.5%. And as for the 20 day moving average, back then it was up 8%. Compare that to the current trend, which is down up 2.5%. And also for the 50 day moving average, back then it was up 25%. Compare that to the current trend, which is up 17%. So there are technical, simul technical differences among the trends. One is the 10 simple moving average. So do keep that in mind. And these models are available in the link below. So do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.